fingers 101 and I have got to I this is not a flattering view and honestly I don't really have an issue with looking beautiful okay oh okay you know what I'm lying I want to look pretty yeah screw it okay the one thing I can't stand to do I think we all feel that way as a woman although there are those weird women that like to fold clothes or do laundry I am like 100% not it this is the bird covers so <clears throat> these are the kids that when they take their birds out of here they just throw it everywhere I I've gained weight and my boobs look like crap. They're like, oh. um, I'm in a I don't really care kind of mode. And it's also boring to do laundry and you have no one to talk to. So I'm going to talk to you and tell you what I've been thinking, you know, my procrastinations of different projects that I have. Uh, and hopefully my husband doesn't walk in and say, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm 50 years old. There you go. And um, seen a lot of shit go on. And honestly, this has been the most interesting 2020. Yeah. And I better keep on like folding while I'm talking to you because then I <clears throat> would rather talk and do laundry. This has been the most interesting 2020 I have ever could have imagined. You will see personal underwears and stuff, whatever. Um, I actually had a comment. I'm sorry because I flip flop. I go from one side to another. Um, I actually had a comment in one of my videos that I did that had to do with G-strings and because i am gotten fatter, why I prefer to wear G-strings, you might want to look for it it's there and it's just sort of funny but um informative at the same time um oh and please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button or is it um like and subscribe if you like subscribe you know what i mean you've been here before um crap what did i say Oh yeah, funny, in a video that I did about the G-string, someone says, oh, well, you're going to have to prove it about me wearing it. And I said, sadly enough, you wouldn't be able to see it. And then there was another one where I said, my wife does wear G-strings, but it's, uh, um, it's like private, you know, like they wear the G-string private. And my comment, which is honest, is marriage, when you've been married for quite a long time, it has a way of blinding men or women, I, you know, or your husband with your husband. Yeah. Nowadays, your woman with your woman. Whatever. Just go with it. <clears throat> so, I, I am not a person that has allergies or anything like that. But apparently for the past three months, three or four months... When I wake up in the morning, I have like a little phlegm, I guess, every morning. <clears throat> and I can't get it out. And I only have one coffee, and then the rest of the day, I'm having tea, 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 tea. And I guess what I need is peppermint. I don't know if any of you have a good remedy for clearing a throat in the morning. Um, but th that has to do with tea. If you drink tea, please just let me know which one. I I'm not sure. I... I, I'm doing the sinus one. I'm going to drink a sinus one that is like a minty. <clears throat> and it sometimes works. But please let me know. What do you think? I would definitely try out the ones you told me. And probably just go on ahead and do a video. <clears throat> of what worked best for me. But yeah. Um, yeah, man. This 2020 year has been insane, hasn't it? Oh, by the way, if you're one of those that are just like me and has to do laundry and fold it and you're like, you you look at it and you're like, ah, screw it. I don't want to do it today. I don't want to do it today. I don't want to do it today. And then it all of a sudden fills up like this. Sit down with me 
and let's talk about everything. Um, 2020, let's go back to it. Holy crap, what the hell? Um, I was never a political person, like into politics or anything, but you can't help but listen to it. Okay, while we're talking, I'm gonna show you little things. Look how fat I've gotten. I'm cutting up my jeans just to put it on. Why don't I buy a new one? Because I have hope that I'll lose weight. That's why. That's where I look. I have hope I'll lose weight. And you know when you buy that one jean or that one shorts or that one bra that fits you so well and you can wear it, you know, every year you have it and you have it and just stretch it with you. For whatever reason, I'm sure this happens to everybody, you go back to look for the same shorts and it's not there anymore. So you end up trying to adjust it somehow. So that's me. I, my husband, oh geez, I'm still gonna tell you. My husband, he likes, you know, his underwear, he likes it to be dark. And he told me, go buy me some underwear. And I forgot told you many years you're married for many years you don't really want to do laundry all the time you tore you, just, you have a tendency of forgetting things and I went <clears throat> and got him whitey tidies and he looks at it and goes really 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 whitey tidies Roxy seriously and I what and no one sees your underwear that I know of he's a good man bless you love me and no I don't fold underwear but I'm talking to you so I'm doing things I've never done before which is uh, folding clothes anyhow 2020 crazy I wasn't I'm, I'm not into politics or anything but I used to watch on Apple TV I used to watch like Survivor or watch um, RuPaul just all these other shows and then I just find politics to be way much more entertaining lately. And it's got me coming back to it saying, wow, what's going to happen now? Now I'm at the point where if I miss one hour, if I miss an hour or two hours of news, I have to catch up again. Really, that's how it feels to me. So, and I'm surprised that I'm actually, can you believe this? I bought this, is to, you, you put it on and it's a stretchy. And I put it on and I can't tell you how horrible my nose is like scrunched in like that. It's like, yeah, no, I now I've got to figure out what am I going to do with this? Maybe I'll put it over my thigh and maybe I can shrink it that way or something. I don't know. But... Maybe put it like this. I don't know. I just don't want to waste this. See, it's actually tight on my nose. So maybe I could do this. Oh, oh my ear, my ear. Maybe something like that. There we go. I will, oh, screw it. I'll figure it out some other time. Where did it go? I'll figure it out some other time. I'm trying to get my hair to grow. The older you get, the less hair you have. And I've been doing so many different, um, so many different concoction, massages. Uh, I've been doing this olive, uh, no, not olive, uh, the aloe vera 100% organic in a tube and you squeeze it into this, the, like two teaspoons. Then you get castor oil, you put in one teaspoon. Then you get a vitamin C capsule and you pour it in there, just a, a, a capsule. And then you get your little cotton and you just put it into little areas where your hair is missing. And then you put it into your, massage it into your hair. And then you leave it in for like three or four hours and you wash your hair. The problem is, is that I, don't really wash my hair for at least the second week because I don't have oil that much because 
I have also been doing um, apple cider vinegar rinse, but really diluted. Um, I'm kind of try. I'm gonna try to get it to 29 minutes, okay? And then I'll just keep on going because I talk a lot, and uh, I'm sure you're the one who's actually folding clothes and putting away because I'm talking. So I'm having a hard time trying to do what I've got to do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, wasn't really political, and my whole family were not like that. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I go by what I feel and that's the truth. I go by how I feel and what's up with all these UFOs? If anyone's been paying attention, what do you think about that? I'm like, I'm the kind of person that, oh, you know, let's do a trash area here. Um, I'm the kind of person that does believe in UFOs. I think a lot of us question it and wonder, could it be positive? But then again, do you really think we're the only ones in this planet? In the universe? Forget the planet, the universe. You really think you're the only one? It's impossible. There's no way. I mean, they're still trying to, they're still finding things at the bottom of the ocean that haven't been identified yet. So, and, then, and there's this thing called the 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 what was it called the blue banana or <laughs> the glowing banana i think it is no seriously look for it i don't know why they call it the blue banana or the glowing banana but it's in the bottom of the ocean it's actually an opening a very small opening into further deeper into the ocean seriously there's a lot of weird shit going on in the 2020 guys I'm serious. So it's kind of freaky deaky. And <clears throat> it's just, just so much information out there that I I don't I don't truly do any more um, video shows or anything like that because this is perfect. I mean, the news. And I, I I'm telling you, yes, I watch the news, and at the same time, I do start feeling horrible. I do have little children, 50, and I have twins that are 11 years old, and I have a 15-year-old, and this COVID has me so worried, and I worry because my husband's a teacher, so he has to go to work, but I'm, I'm going to have my kids at home because... You just don't know how it's going to affect you at all. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. If you know, could you please let me know where I left off? Screw it. Yeah, so, all these news and the news. Okay, that's where I left off. Listening to the news does get me depressed does get me depressed. And then you have those that tell me, then don't listen to the news. Sometimes it's okay to get away from the news and then watch a movie or something. And I've done that. Yes, it does help not to get um, obsessed with what's going on today. But then I come right back to it and I got to find out and I realize, wow, in two hours, I missed out on a lot. Um, I do believe that the things that are going on now will also help us to um, evolve more, uh, come up with new um, new strategies, new everything. I think this this they call it the age of Aquarius. So I'm Aquarius. So everything there's Aquarians uh, are infamous for chaos but to better so it's the year of imagination of invention going forward but there's chaos before we actually move forward that's what i'm saying <clears throat> so yes i do create chaos in my house And, yeah, that's why I watch it. 
Anyhow, today I was also watching something on YouTube about a, a lady. This is girl. I don't know her name or anything, so I apologize. And you probably have watched it already because she had she had four million views. And she was talking about not washing her, her hair for a whole month. And I mean like literally not washing it. I think all she did I don't think she did rinse or did she? I don't know, can you tell? I really did watch the whole thing, but I can't remember a lot of it. But she got four million views and for that, just that, she got fifty thousand dollars. What the hell are we doing wrong? But then again, what am I doing wrong? But it doesn't matter. The reason is just I don't upload enough. And you have to do something called Ad AdSense and, or AdSense. I don't know the name. And it's like giving your account number. Now I will tell you, um, it is real. They do, you do get money out of it. You do, you do. But you have to work very hard for it. It is a job. And a lot of people have issues with the YouTube as far as that they're not honest or you put into it, whatever. I haven't seen that really. I haven't seen anything truly bad about it. It hasn't affected me at all. Then again, I'm not really into it and what I do is fun. So I, I feel like, yeah, people are watching me and it is fun to listen to someone talk. At least it is to me because it keeps me busy. Um, right now, if I wasn't talking to you right now, I could tell you, and this is a very good trigger as far as getting someone to do things in the house. Clearly, I haven't been watching it, but there's this, uh, and they've had it for such a long time. I'm so upset they haven't continued it. It's called Hoarders. Hoarders, and it's about people who hoard a lot of clothing because they buy a lot of things or just items and stuff and they hoard people hoard animals and they hoard clothing and they hoard crafting and they it's just a whole bunch of hoarding and when i watch that and they don't have anything organized it just gets me to watch that i'm like ooh, and then i start putting things away like that and then by the time i'm done i'm like oh my god let me go to my craft room and start organizing <laughs> It really does work, but clearly I have not been watching it. So, <clears throat> you see, it's all screwed up. And I have, um, I have, this one is, this one is uh, ginger, ginger tea. It's, it's honey ginger tea and it's actually instant. So you just, and you drink it. And I kind of like it, but it's like the warmer it is, the better it is. But it's not like really helping. You know, I really need something like, I don't know if it's peppermint or if it's, I don't know. It's, honestly, if you have any remedies for this little phlegm I can't get out, I can't even <clears throat> bring it out. And every time I do, <clears throat> It starts to roughen up my throat. And it, it like becomes sore. Raw. I like it. I like it because it's like, um, it's not spicy. It's just ginger. It's got a little bite. That's the word. It's got a little bite. So, yeah. This 2020 is cr 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 crazy. And then you have these hurricanes. Because it's like ripe. The season is ripe for hurricanes and we're only in July and they say that it's the first time they've had two hurricanes in July and so many coming in so something about that they're gonna they're thinking about rolling back hurricane season instead of starting it on a June a hurricane what, what is it instead of starting hurricane season on the first of June Am I right about that? Yeah, first of June, they're gonna start doing their predictions earlier than later, which I think that's good. 
because everything is changing, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. Everything's changing. You know, global warming. Other people don't believe in that. I don't know. I, I, I don't see why you wouldn't. I'm at 20 minutes right now. If it goes longer, I'm going to upload this or download this. You see, I don't understand. <sighs> Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm just like very dyslectic. I'm also Latin. So I have everything mumble jumble backwards all the time. Reversed. So I don't know if it's download or upload. But I know what I have to do. So I'll do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, hurricane. I'm in Florida. So let's see how this goes. But I'm in central Florida. Like literally where the panhandle is. And you put your pointer finger. That's exactly where I live. We've never had a hurricane. If, if, it, if it came in as a hurricane one by in the Gulf, it would reach to us with like a, a, a tropical depression. So we don't, I don't, I don't fold his shorts. What am I doing? I'm talking to you. I'm going to end up folding socks and everything. It's getting weird on me now. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a sort of nerve wracking, although it's good to prepare as much as you can because you never know. This is that saying that they say, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Well, I don't know how many times I have to prepare for the, the worst. I've got a big container full of stuff. And I can't do that every single year. And that's a good thing, though. It's good that I have it full. I haven't had to use it. But, you know, every year I keep looking at, ooh, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with flashlights. I'm obsessed with batteries. Nothing personal. I'm, <laughs> I am obsessed with batteries and flashlights and gadgets, you know, for hurricane. So, and so is my son. I have a 30-year-old son that lives right next door to me. And so does he. So we have the witchy poo thing going on where I'll show him in my Amazon list the flashlights that I really, really like. Oh my God. I have washed my shirt with my hair clip in it. Whatever. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to end up forgetting so I might as well just put it in my hair. So... Ah, Amazon list. And then I'll tell him, look, I'm looking for a uh, battery power pack or something. Battery so when you're in, in the house, you can charge up your iPads and stuff in case you lose your electricity, your light and stuff. <clears throat> and I was looking for it and I had it on my Amazon list and I told my son, look, this is what I'm going to get. And he says, hold on a second. And then he looks on his Amazon list and he goes, you and I are wanting to get the same thing. I was like, oh, cool. That is so freaking it's like, whoa. Okay. Uh, yeah, back to the 2020 thing. What else? This November 3rd, y'all. I really, I, I, we really need to vote. We really need to vote if we want to see a positive change really need to vote it's really important can't go any further than that because everyone has their views and what they're going to do and it's really none of my business honestly I don't go there um, other than that I, I don't know if I have anything else to say but I guess I can share some things that's personal like this I have birds so I have to wear certain t-shirts so that they don't poop on me. Oh, or that they poop on me and I know what shirt it is. So I wrote the word poop. A sh poop shirt. And something really funny happened when I wore one of my poop shirts. I had a neighbor come knock on my door because they had a package or something. And I had my shirt. And it says poop shirt. And they kept on looking at my shirt. 
I paid no attention to it. All I know is that it, it was a kind of a weird thing that it kept looking at my shirt. I thought they were looking at my boobs, but it wasn't. And I realized that when I was going to take a shower, I was like, oh, great. I just wanted my poop shirt. And I've worn it. I, I forget and I go to the mailbox. But <clears throat> since I'm not outside, it doesn't matter. Nobody really knows me. I, I, it, where I live, I know every person that lives next door to me. And because we've, we've known each other for 14 years. So my neighbor at the corner, when she can't get a ride to go to work, I'm like, okay, I'll take you to work. You know, it's, it feels, it's a, it's a family kind of feeling here. It's, it's funny. It is funny. And I love it that way. Um, what else? Uh, nothing else. I guess my, I can talk real quick about my weight gain. I've been gaining weight and I have this, you know, like we all have this thing, you know, that's like, what the hell? It's like my kids pissed me off. I'm like, really? What, 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 what? I'm going to slap this thing on you. I have been doing a little bit of exercise. See, I'm not one for exercising and I know I need to move my butt. I know I do. And we always listen to everyone tells us, oh my God, don't get any fatter, you know, because it's bad for your health. This is a, yes, I agree. I agree. But we all get to the point where it'll happen or it doesn't. And I've been trying to drink more tea and eat healthier. The problem is, is that I, I have been eating healthy, but it has been very painful for me because I'm pooping more than I've ever pooped before in these last three days. And I am raw, girls and guys. I am raw. It's disgusting. So, I'm trying to drink. And, and I, I think it's also ginger. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want to stop drinking my ginger. But I was doing, and I'm sure everyone's going to go, that's why. I was doing a colon, colon, uh, cleanse. I thought it wasn't going to work because I'm the kind of person that can't poop. I'll eat, but I can't poop. And I said, okay, I'm going to need a colon cleanse. And I did it. I w I've been doing it for four days and now I'm supposed to take one pill yesterday and I didn't because I, I really need it. it I, it's mm -mm, not working. I, mm, mm. And I couldn't believe it worked, and it worked, and I, I've been scared of going to the bathroom because I feel like my bowels are going to fall out. Uh, and right now, I'm at 29 minutes. I'm going to shut this off and come back, okay? Because I'm almost done with my laundry, and I want to keep on finishing my laundry and talk to you. So hopefully you have this where it just goes into the next um, part. And uh, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. And I'm guessing it's that way. Subscribe and like, if you like it. It's okay, however you wanna do it. Please let me know. Uh, well, I'm gonna upload this thing. I think I said it right. I'm gonna upload this and then come right back to you. Love, love.